Welcome to part 22 of my biking, camping, flying adventure. Irene and Louise have had the bright idea of hiking up Mount Mystic and I've decided to join them. Irene's showing off her fitness. She's looking very fit there, having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great idea to hike up the mountain, isn't it? Nah. Feels good. <laughs> good on you. Where's the road? Hopefully the cloud burns off a bit later and be able to do a bit of thermal and maybe do a little XC. See how we go. Just assess the conditions as we go. <laughs> We've got a hunter-gatherer here. I heard something in there. <laughs> Looking good up here. Thermic cycle's coming through, sun's out. Let him go. Plenty of pilots up here on launch. I might give this tandem a bit of space to manoeuvre before I go. All that parting I've done with the local pilots has been very educational. I've learned a lot about the routes around here, the mountains, local conditions and so forth. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Matt gave me a very useful rundown on some of the routes you can fly here. And Lewis has been very, very helpful chatting about thermaling. Launching. All right, let's go and do this crazy dance with the sky one more time. Well timed. There's quite a thermaling in front of me, so I need to get over that ridge. And this is the last flight of my trip, so pressure's on. I need to do well. Plenty of thermals out here, straight off launch. It's like a roller coaster going up and down. This fella in front of me looks pretty unsteady, so I might need to keep a bit of distance from him. Coming into a decent sized thermal, just making sure it's big enough. Yep, yeah, feels all right. Let's start the circuit, start mapping it out. Looks like my mate's come to join me. I can't let him spook me out of the thermal, which is what usually happens when I have another glider too close to me. held the thermal and I'm out climbing this guy, getting some separation from him. <laughs> I've been working on my thermaling technique, so I do a really hard weight shift in the direction of my circuit, and I hold the inward brake basically to the carabiner and just lock it there and then I control my turn with the outside brake. So if I want to steady up, I hold my weight shift, pull outside brake to reduce my circuit or to straighten up, and then I'll let it off again to go back into my circuit. This way, there's a cloud here. Let's go under this one, eh? Sure, I'm following a bit of a 50 line. I'm up near the clouds, doing good. Scared today. This cloud's wispy, so I don't know if there'll be anything under it, but we'll have a go. Could almost fly back. Don't find anything out here. Okay, coming over this ridge, just checking my landing zones. This one, sort of, I think it's that one there. This one down there. I should be okay if I can't find anything. Looks like this guy's found something, so... I'll have a go! Not gonna get anywhere if I don't try, will I? There's a big red landing zone further up. Probably that big green area. Hitting sink. This bowl is called Benny Mystic, and it's a pretty consistent thermal producer. That's always a good sign. Really freaky flying at a place where 99.9% .9 of the land around me, I can't land on. Nice thermal. Woo -hoo -hoo. Up into cloud base. Alright, let's go. Bit of a lifty line of lift or whatever they call it. Running down the ridge using the lines of lift. There's no real thermals here. This guy in front of me's managed to gain a little bit of height. But they, they're too small for me to work. If I turn in them, I'll just sink. Then I'm just gonna drift over the mountain, so there's no point doing that. So over here, I think there's some sort of bowl that works well. 
a look at the map and see where the landing zone is here. Oh yeah, there's landing zones down there. Nice, there's three landing zones. I better make sure I don't get it wrong. It's brave. I would uh, go try and do that peak over there, but I'm not that brave. Slink here, it's just slinky as hell. Get under this big door. Make sure I leave myself some margin to land. If I end up sinking out. He's found something I'm following him. Plenty of height here, 3,300 feet. So if I go that way, apparently I'll either land at the town, but there's not much landing options down that way. If I go that way, I could follow him. run out of lift here. Maybe I'll just uh, I'll try flying back. I might fly back. Let's go. Let's go. 